I'm Dr. James Stavis with OrthoHeal, and today I'm going to show you the ulnar gutter immobile brace. Ulnar gutter is for a boxer's fracture, meaning we have a fourth and fifth metacarpal fracture. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to get on my boxer. Every ortho heel flexio brace comes with a tape measure. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to measure for wrist circumference in centimeters. We cut. Measure the wrist circumference. She has about 17 and a half centimeter as a circumference of her wrist. That should be a median. I'm going to double check on the chart. Wrist circumference, median, that works. Perfect, I have a medium right here, ulnar gutter. You see ulnar gutter immobilizer, medium. You have the expiration date as well. You better open up the box. I'm gonna take out a couple items. I have my finger strap that I'm gonna leave right here on the side. I have the bag in which the brace comes in. And I also have my instructions for use. Now I'm just gonna put that right here to the side. The instructions for use manual, very, very important. Anybody who's going to be handling the brace and putting it on a patient must be proficient in these instructions. They must understand the general description, the key features, the intended use, the indication as well as the content, the contraindications in the patient population. Make sure that every clinician that is applying the ulnar gutter brace understands the user's manual. So now I have the ulnar gutter brace in this bag. This is a uh, th this black bag helps prevent any kind of wet penetration. If light were to get on the brace, whether it's artificial light or whether it's natural light, it will start the curing process of the brace. So this black bag helps prevent that. So before I open it up, I'm just going to put my gloves on just in case there's any potential Linkage of the gel throughout the silicone. Then got the scissors right here. Let's well, gonna open it up. Cut it open. This is the Flexio Ulnar Gutter Immobilizer. We want to inspect the product. So as soon as I take it out of the bag and out of the box, I want to inspect it, make sure that there's no crack in the silicone and that the gel isn't leaking out. Looks good on the superficial side, on the deep side. This is foam padding. This is the area that's going to go against the patient's skin. So we want to make sure that there's no cracks on there either. All right, let's go. Now, before I apply the product, I want to inspect the patient's skin, make sure that there's no cuts, no wounds, no abrasions, no infections. Right. You want to check pulse at the radius, capillary refill at the fingers. Can you feel that? Dermatomes, can you feel this? Check bilaterally, equal pulse. Cab refill, can you feel this? Can you feel this? Can you feel this? Good, neurally, neurovascularly intact distally. So now I'm gonna apply the product right to the wrist here. I'm gonna zip with this first, just to get it nice and secure on the patient's arm. 
And as you're putting the zipper from the wrist to the elbow, then you want to add a little bit of traction so you don't catch the patient's skin at the zipper. Okay. I'm going to make sure that this goes over here. And I'm going to do this button that's going to go around the hand real quick just to secure it. So I have a secure force right here at the palm. I'm secure a little bit more distally uh, to the wrist. So now I'm going to take my strap and I'm going to secure four and five right here. And what's great about this brace is you see all these holes right here. The breathability helps prevent any possible chance of maceration. So I want to make sure that this is nice and protected over here. We're good. I'm going to inspect one more time before I start to cure it. No leakage of the gel coming out of the silicone. Four and five are stable. Just want to make sure that these are nice and covered up over here. All right, talk to your baby. You doing okay? Doing good. Make that a little bit more snug. All right. Now we're ready to cure it with the Rizzy cure. So before I do that, I want to make sure that my eyes are protected and my patient's eyes are protected as well. And this is the Rizzy cure blue light. I'm going to apply the light to the fractured site first, and then within a couple seconds, we're going to hear a beep, and then we're going to move on to another area, okay? Now, the way we want to immobilize these patients at an ulnar gutter is we're trying to get them in about 20, 15 to 20 degrees of wrist extension, and the helix position for four and five, if they have a fracture, non-displaced, is going to be roughly 90 degrees of finger flexion. So we're, we're going to have them immobilized like this, okay? So this is where I'm going to have my patient stay in, and that's the first area that I'm going to try to cure, right over here on four and five where there's a fracture, okay? So we're going to turn it on. I'm going to hold it a couple of inches away from the fractured site. Can you go up and do a little bit of wrist extension for me? Yep, good. Hold it right there. And the patient's going to start feeling a little bit of warmth. It shouldn't be painful. It should just be worn. Is that right? Yes. Should be, shouldn't be painful, just a little more. You continue to talk to your patient throughout the process. Build that rapport. I'm going to come over here. Build that rapport with your patient. I'm going to make sure that four and five are nicely secure. I'm going to see if I can get the palm man. Good. Now I'm going to work my way around the brace. Now I'm on the lateral side over here. Good. Working my way around. Good. Over on the zipper side, where the radius is, coming around, starting to get warm. Good. Try not to shine it in my patient's eyes here. Here we got a little bit from there to do right here. Who can? We're shutting this off. Now I'm going to do another inspection. Making sure that 
The silicone, is he touching the skin anywhere? Making sure that the area is all nice and solid. Now, I, don't, I know I need to go back to this region over here where the strap is because the blue light cannot penetrate this strap. So after I'm done inspecting, I'm gonna take the blue light, take off the strap, and re-cure this area to make sure that four and five are nice and secure. All right, can remember that breathability in between these two digits prevents any kind of mass aeration from occurring. So I'm gonna take this on. I'm just gonna put this to the side. I'm gonna hold this down to make sure that these are taken care of and it's nice and cured with the light. Should only be a couple seconds. How you doing? Good. Good. Continuing to talk to the patient, making sure that they're still comfortable. Gonna get on the other side over here. Couple more seconds. Good, Let me shut this off. That's nice and solid. I'm gonna put this strap back on just to help secure it. All right, I'm gonna do one more inspection. Good, and patient education is key, so I'm gonna tell my patient you can get this wet. You can bathe, you can shower, right? If you go in the pool, that's fine. If you go into the ocean, that's fine. Just make sure after you're done from chlorinated water or salt water, you take fresh water and you rinse it off. Okay. And if the skin is still wet after a couple minutes, you can take a hair dryer on the cool setting and you could blow dry the, the brace and that'll get rid of that. Okay. If you have any type of skin reaction, any type of adverse reaction over the next 24 to 48 hours, make sure you call our office. If it's after hours, make sure you go to the emergency doc. So now we are going to take this off. Okay, we ready to take it off? Yeah. All right. So I got my cutters here and I'm just gonna snip on the dorsal aspect of the hand here, these ribs, and I'm just gonna cut one at a time all the way down, right till I get to the hand, and then I should be able to just unzip, take off the straps and just pull it off. Okay, you want to make sure that you don't push down too hard so you don't pinch your patient. But just nice and easy, this will break with very minimal force. You okay? Yeah. Until you continue to talk to your patient, make sure that they're comfortable. That trust is very important. All right, should be okay. I'm gonna unzip right here. I'm gonna undo this strap. Put that off to the side. I'm gonna undo the button here that's at the web space. And I'm gonna have my patient come on out. I'm gonna take a look at the skin. I'm gonna inspect the skin, no burns. No resin linkage. Can you feel this? Can you feel there? Pulse is good. Tap refill is good. And I would check bilaterally.